When it comes to understanding an, an individual's pain and disability, there has been a move away from focusing on pathoanatomy caused by an injury, or in other words, the physical damage to anatomical structures as shown on scans, towards understanding an individual's functional movement and strength, because this is what determines a person's ability or disability in life. When it comes to providing an opinion on functional movement and strength, in order to stand up to scrutiny in the court of law, um, a definition of strength needs to be objective and it also needs to be the result of evidence-based medicine. For these reasons, when I assess strength as part of an independent medical exam, I use a system called AXID. Now, AXID uses push and pull dynamometry and force plates to measure within 10 grams the peak force a person can generate, which is a measure of their strength. It also measures rate of force development, which is a measure of how quickly someone can go from zero to peak force. And this is a way of defining power. In some instances, this is really important because how quickly someone can access full strength in a body part um, can be the difference between re-injuring or not. Um, now, using AXIT software, we can compare the strength and power of the injured side to the uninjured side. Uh, and this is then shown in a report as a percentage. So this objective uh, measurement of loss of, of strength is, is really important. Um, now, we can also measure at regular intervals over a period of time. Uh, and the software will also present this information as a graph in change of strength over time. Now, additionally, and this is, this is fantastic and really important. Um, the Axis software can also compare the strength of an injured body part to the strength of a normal uninjured population. Uh, and it pulls this data as in the strength of uninjured people from scientific research studies on strength and power in uninjured populations. And it matches the person's uh, basic demographics, you know, age and sex, uh, two normal values for strength when comparing people to the uninjured population. Uh, so using this software, we can really objectively measure the strength of individual body parts. We can uh, effectively measure the functional strength of a whole chain uh, or part of the body uh, and do it objectively in a way that is really, really accurate and um, objective and based in evidence-based medicine.